Welcome to the demonstration video of a Prime ID book. A Prime ID book is a digital version of a Copymaster with a whole host of additional features which will be explained in this video. When you purchase an ebook, the file can be downloaded onto your computer or the school server. Once stored and saved, you may use the resource time and time again, and it is the perfect resource to use on any interactive whiteboards in your school. To begin, click on the accept icon to enter the ebook main menu. We are now looking at the main menu, which shows every topic in the ebook. Use the arrows to show additional menu pages like so. When you click on any topic, you can scroll through the pages by clicking on the left and right arrows, making it easy to leap through the resource. But you can also select a specific page from the main menu. All our ebooks sit in the same blue window frame and are very easy to navigate. Let's have a look at some of the features and tools that sit along the bottom of the screen. You have the option of having a double page view, which is useful for the teacher as you can carefully read the teacher's notes for the adjoining copy master. To revert back to the single page view, click here again. The single page view may be used for the teacher to display the worksheet on the interactive whiteboard. To alter the size of the page on the screen or the interactive whiteboard, use the icon fit to width, like so or by using the zoom in or zoom out icons here. One can also use the rotate icon to display the worksheet in horizontal position. This toolbar also includes the sliders feature which allows the teacher to shield parts of the page until they are required. This could be useful to focus on one particular area of the worksheet when working with a class. A key feature of the ebook is that you have a direct link to the school copy if copying more sheets for pupils is required. Just click the print icon here. The bookmark tool allows you to mark your favourite pages using Plicity. An interactive toolbar can be accessed using the pencil icon. This will